Hey there, day six of the 30 day challenge. And today we're going to be talking about planners. So how many of you have been in search for the ideal perfect planner and you ask everybody and it seems like everybody comes up with a different answer. And so you're back to where you have like a hundred to choose from. So I'm not going to talk about specific planners, although I am going to show you two planners that seem to work for me because I, when I plan my stuff, I do it in two ways. So it's like kind of a two step process. I have my online planner, which is part of my Asana project management, where I map out things I need to create like video scripts and blog posts and repurpose content. And I use that to work for because that's the list that I work through through the day because it incorporates client work and my business work. But digital doesn't always work for me because I'm creative and I'm, you know, that's, that's my realm of where I operate from. I like to close the laptop and go back to the old fashioned pen and paper. Now I've tried tons and tons of planners. Um, and so the criteria for me was something that would allow me to actually plan out my week and my day, kind of at a bird's eye view, not the details, just so that I can have something to reference um, and go back to at the beginning and the end of the week to see what worked and what didn't work. And the second was for a way for me to brain dump and clear my mind. So I actually have um, two notebooks that I take with me everywhere. And the first is um, my Evo planner. And I got this on a Kickstarter. I want to say, well, this is my third one. This is for January. Um, so I want to say that it's, I've been using it at least six months. And I think that's when the campaign started because right when it, right when it, um, fulfilled, I was one of the first ones. But what I like about the Evo planner is two things. It's based on your uh, type. There are four types. Um, there's a quiz that you can take. I took the quiz three times to make sure that I really did have the correct type. Um, but mine is Alchemist and the Alchemist is someone who is um, constantly looking for ways to do things different, um, doesn't necessarily um, finish something before they start anew, is looking for variants. But what I like about this planner is that um, not only does it have a section for business but in, or work as they put, but it has a, a, a section for personal too. So on my day, um, this part of the planner allows me to map out my the priorities for my day and then there's a scoring at the bottom to see how I did. Uh, but the other side gives me prompts so that I can kind of center myself before I start working with like today I'm grateful for something new I'm going to discover, uh, my wellness activities for the day because I'm really into self-care now, and then fun activities and then just, just um, ideas and thoughts. So this is a great way for me to do a bird's eye view of my day. Now the second Thing that I have and it's not really a planner it's my journal and this also allows me to kind of center myself um, do a brain dump um, anytime I have an idea this is where it goes and I know that it refers to and then I also so I just have a regular um, dotted plain dotted page because on this side I use it for brain dumping and journaling and ideas that are in there that I need to get out and then this side I do either doodling or some kind of artistic work to allow me just to get the creative juices flowing um, so that's kind of how I um, being a creative and a business owner, how I use to plan my day. But the bottom line is there's a lot of options out there. You just really need to find what works for you. And sometimes it's trial and error. But a lot of these planners now have a downloadable where you can download like a sample of the day or a sample sheet. So before you commit, maybe try those and see if that's what works into your workflow. 
because, um, you know, there's the saying, and I don't, for the life of me, can't remember who says it right now, but um, when you when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So you do need to have something written down that kind of allows you to map out your day, your week, your month, and even your quarter and your year so that you can make sure that you're hitting the goals that you're setting for yourself. So that's day six, talked about planning. I'll put the resources in the comments so that you can see some of the things that I use.